IRC news is good like a pal. I'm making the intro. Then EF Net News. It's the motherfucking dopest IRC news show. Also, Dab Guy is a piece of shit. He'll never be able to follow through with his own news show. Boom. Gang. Wireless, so I never gotta plug it in. Wireless, never plugging in my phone again. Wireless, so I never gotta plug it in. Wireless, never gonna plug my phone again. Never. Never, never, never. Never, never. Never, 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 bitch. Never, never. This is FNet News. <laughs> We're gonna do some bad. We're gonna do the latest and greatest from Ellis Free I'm aware of the podcast. Fnet News Podcast. This is ENN, a penis pump broadcasting company. What up, motherfuckers? Welcome to episode 149 of the Fnet News uh, show, I guess. I fucking forget what it's called now. It's just called Fnet News, I think. I'm Jason Bandy. Um, yeah, uh, first off, I just want to say uh, rest in peace. Uh, to a friend of the show, Ruby. Uh, Ruby was Chili Boss's partner in crime, and unfortunately we lost her last week. She was 13. It was no slouch. She gave lots of love to uh, the Chili Boss family, but never took any shit from their two dogs. So um, keep Ruby in your thoughts. And Chili Boss, man, it's, uh, you know, I almost lost my cat recently. Uh, she's still got some weird shit going on, like an overactive thyroid. Uh, and I was having to face her death and it was tough so I can't imagine really what it would be like to lose your your number one friend so shout out to Chili Boss man shout out to Ruby uh, up in cat heaven uh, Dwayne maybe shoot Ruby a prayer you know something like that um, yeah so it looks like Undernet has G-lined all of our sea cloud again that's pretty crazy so thanks to Stratum for that news story uh, always nice to have a tip sent in gross. Um, you know, I wish FNet would do the same. Just be honest. Jayware is hoarding all your logs and pictures and videos and you're paying him for it. And if you still got any dignity, you'll delete your client now and install a real client like Ursi, maybe even WeChat or whatever the fuck it's called. Sorry. I know I can be a bit touchy about IRC Cloud, but Undernet was too, so you know, I can't be wrong. Anyway, why, why did they do it? Excessive connections. You know, it makes me wonder if it was just an unintelligent script or if an admin or an opera or something just had beef. Either way, classic G-Line, uh, kind of unintelligent scripts like the Trojan spreader ones that everyone keeps getting hit with. Civils had a bunch of them. They even G-Line spoke, um, or K-Line, I don't know which it was, uh, calling them a Trojan spreader. I don't know, man. Some weird shit going on on, on the internet these days. Now... Here's a couple darn fuck-ups sent in by Chili Boss. Look at that. Darn typed out dot slash load seven sphere. Now, I'm not sure if that was a fuck-up, uh, but this one sure seemed like it was. Ooh. <laughs> uh, congrats to Say J, who announced that she is an aunt now, or an aunt, or an auntie, as they used to say in the hood, auntie. Apparently, her brother had another baby. Here she is saying... Uh, Anyway, you can see the log there. In the middle of that log, uh, Emmy talks about seeing a weird thing in a tree and flashing her brights. So first off, Emmy driving is a fucking scary thought. Uh, nodding off at the wheel is no joke. But anyway, she continued by saying uh, some weird stuff is going on. 
Uh, one time, within 15 minutes of each other, two owls flew at me, straight for the windshield. Uh, maybe there were robots. Uh, now I hear some owls outside my room. I'm kind of paranoid right now. Um, fucking weird. Why would two owls fly at a car? Sounds like a lie. Or a sign. Shout out to LX or IX or whatever the nick is in that log. Knowing about Twin Peaks, but also knowing about the log lady. <laughs> so, just want to read this log of a racer keeping it the fuck real. He said, I've got something to confess that I confessed in public. And seeing Jira's name in the news reminded me I thought Jira was that hot Asian chick uh, that he paid to do videos for Jew Burr beating Kong Fuzi. And one one other one thought that like for three days I was like, man, Jira's pretty fucking hot. I got bamboozled. So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, instead of hiring someone, it was actually Jira that got all made up and pretty in front of a green screen and laid down the truth about Jew Bird and Kong Fuzi with a pretty racist sounding accent. Here's a log of logic getting trolled by Huge Cock. Huge Cock had recently juped Incog, and after he quit, uh, one of the things it likes to ask is, what is everyone listening to? So Incog, as Jew Bird, asked the question. Logic said, right now, I'm listening to Zach Zeiss, or Zeiss, editing his novel. So that was pretty funny. I love it when people get bamboozled. Uh, right, so, late notice. I, as you know, the show came out a bit early. Uh, I gave Simaster really late notice, um, saying, look, man, I'm going to do something early. Can you crank a weather out? So he gave us one. Let's check it out. Woo! It is great to be riding again. You can feel that sun. Yep, net news weather 2020. It is currently 72 degrees. It's rather windy and brisk. Look like we're having a dog party here. I'd like to shout out all my friends. You know who you are on FNET. Shout out to Port 80. Shout out to Steve-O. And back to you, Jason. Woo! Haters gonna hate! Fucking lovely. Got that weather. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Sci Master. I really appreciate it. Jump back into the news. We got a Dart Mage update. Now, I wish I didn't have to give him. Uh, but FNET seems to revolve around him. If I avoid reporting on him, I'd be going against the grain and fabric of our very network. Literally, if he's here, people are talking about him. If he quits, people are talking about him for days. And now, we're going to talk more about him. Uh, so I'm going to read what he says here in his log, saying I'm officially homeless. I still got code work. Uh, once I survive this short period, money won't be a problem. I just need to survive a short while. My pay rate has increased ridiculously. Anyone who helps me will be paid back in full. Just saying, I keep it real. I gotta call my grandpa and see if he can help. Just got to Starbucks and finished a phone call with my code partner. Uh, I just need to get some help for like a week. Uh, I'm getting flown out to California on the 14th to help out on something. So that's in seven days. And I'm getting set up to work on the island doing code review. So the good news about the island and stuff oddly came after he was prayed for by a new Christian in LRH named Cronole or Chrono, uh, saying Dark Mage I'm praying for you. So is Chrono. Uh, the next Dwayne? I don't know. Um, I don't really know what to say about Dark Mage. He's getting flown out to California. That seems a bit crazy when there's lots of coders in California. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, materializes. Right. So uh, you want to see somebody else getting huge cocked? Here we go. Right here. Uh, Matthew. Got juked by Huge Cock, I guess, and recently asked the same question uh, that he asked her earlier. So he said, what's everyone listening to? Eraser then says, Matthew Benny the Butcher, which is a rapper I put him on to. Anybody out there should be listening to Griselda and Benny the Butcher if you like boom bap shit. Um, and then he realizes he got Huge Cocked as well. Now, I don't know about this. Now that I'm reviewing the log, I don't know that the bot says JK, and I don't know that the bot does a little emoji like this. Um, anyway, either way, Eraser thinks he got huge cocked, and if he didn't, that means that I just got kind of huge cocked by Matthew, even though he wasn't being huge cocked. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, this shit's ridiculous. So, I guess people were dosing and doxing last week. Uh, Raffaday was the target. I only know this because Raffaday pushed it out globally, so let's look at this log. He says, it's a sad day uh, for IRC culture when some kitty thinks... That, I, that this is actually a pwn or a dox. It's so weak, I'll broadcast it myself. 
Two hours of Google and half a week allowance on booters. Not even the ASCII is any good. For shame. Now, I went to look at the docs, but uh, it looks like they've been removed. I've said it before and I'll say it again. People that drop docs aren't about shit. If you're pulling docs, you're supposed to use them to actually do something. So to cause harm. Back in the day, you know, cut people's power off or some kind of shit like that. So keep the info to yourself and look into other means of fucking with somebody. Uh, every time you scroll docs or link docs on IRC, you're being a lazy pussy. Now, I'm not trying to advocate ruining people. I'm just saying you look like a lazy pussy. Um, yeah, anyway, move on from that. Here's a very recent update from Dart Mage. <laughs> Some more Dart Mage. Don't want to miss anything from him. Um, yeah, so Rondito is talking to him and he says, A trap house dick rider. Now, I kind of jumped into this out of context. Jira says, Dark Mage got a girl? Dark Mage says, I have a lot to vlog, but I don't want to go back there if I can avoid it. I could have hit her up tonight. I got her number. So apparently he got a trap, house's, a trap house dick rider's number. Rondito says, sounds like she's down to fuck, bro. He said, oh yeah, she was rubbing my thighs and shit. Damn. Emmy said, yeah, maybe you should fuck her. And he's like, really? Like, touching on me? Without asking me either. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and then he says, I felt kind of raped. Dark Mage felt raped because a trap girl was rubbing his thighs. Uh, speaking of, someone noticed on his videos that uh, he's got a series called Stuff Hit the Fan. And it goes from episode one to two, to two, then to four. So, <laughs> I just thought that was funny because somebody's paying that close attention. Now here's a log Matthew sent me of E.T., the motherfucking DOS King, flooding himself out. Mad yes, angry no, mad yes, angry no, and bam. Uh, for that, for those of you who don't know, that's the DOS King, so he usually makes other people flood out, but he flooded himself, so that's funny. Um, also, for those of you that don't know, Burnout is poor 80's newest opera, so make sure to make fun of him for that. Um, shortly after joining Pound Infinite News, he typed this, Win 3. Now, I will say that he's got some other news that is supposed to be in the next episode, because I've had to do this one early. I've already started compiling news in the new one. But shortly after joining, he killed Chrono, who had the host, I think it was uh, Opera Services or IRC Op Services or something, and ki the kill reason was impersonating an opera. I gotta be honest, bro. If you're gonna be killing people like that, don't know how well you're gonna fit in around FNet News. Um, and I worry that Chrono might fuck you over. <laughs> so I'll probably continue. I'll report that in the next one just because I got the log of it and stuff. But oof, not a good start. Um, so let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Sci Masters weather last week. Uh, it was beautiful. Had lovely Christmas lights and a bit of wind, unfortunately. So I had to cut segments out. Apparently, there's a shout out in there, and Sci Master hit up Jewbird in private message. To let him know that he shouted him out, uh, but that I chopped it out. So later, Jewberg came at me, questioning me a little aggressive. Uh, he was being an aggressive detective about it. Now, I, I did pluck a few of his feathers out, and, and we, we became friends again. Uh, anyway, I agreed to re-download the segment and isolate his shout-out and give it to him. So now, I'm going to give it to all of you on the show, because I fucked up so majorly, Jewberg, you fucking dick. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Anyway, here's the, here's the, the shout-out from Simaster. You let me know if, if, it was, if it was worth cutting out or not. So Suave over on Pound Computers has enemies. To be honest, he's a bit of a dick, so I'm not surprised. But I guess the story is that he's taken over the channel in a bit of a coup. Some people aren't happy about it. All last weekend, his bots and his nicks were getting dropped, and Pound Computers must have been uh, fixed by Chan Fix like 20 times. So that was funny. Uh, and here's a picture of Effie's desk. <laughs> I guess he does flight simulation. Uh, that thing on the right is called a Thrustmaster, which sounds pretty gross. Uh, oh, and on episode 150, we're going to have a special uh, segment about Subohm's desk. So look forward to that. And last but not least, um, DMA's pill bottle must have been refilled. Uh, the day before, he hit me up to ask me why he'd been charged for Patreon. 
I had to remind him that I'd only de opt him because he changed the topic, denied it, then threatened to remove Patreon if he was banned. So I just de opted him because he, he was making a million typos and just seemed erratic, didn't realize he changed the topic. I covered it on a previous show if you want to go watch that. Anyway, uh, after he asked why he'd been charged, I explained that he didn't disable his Patreon. Uh, he said he thought I would remove it, which was weird. Why would I do that? Uh, I started to explain uh, things to him, then remembered I was talking to a fucking brick wall. He then said it didn't matter and asked for ops. Uh, I explained why he couldn't have the ops and he kept promising nothing would happen. Anyway, I, that went on for a while and he said, okay, I've deleted my account after I wouldn't give him ops. So I went to check and his Patreon was still intact, nothing deleted. So he really just wanted ops, I guess. He didn't really support the show. So, you know, I guess there's probably some people like that out there. So I've had to block him from Patreon, <laughs> block somebody paying me. Uh, then the next day I saw this kind of shit. So he's back on the pills. DMA, brother, I hope I hope you get the help you need, man. I hope you get off the opiates. Uh, it's not good. Okay, so Bracket K Bracket from Poundport 80 had a, an idea with the Patreon list that I'll try now. Let me know what you think. It's Instead of just putting all the patrons, patrons up, I'm going to scroll the names. So I'll try to read them at the same speed, but there's no way that's going to work. But if it does, thumbs up. So thank you to the patrons. Uh, Monkey, NK, 9K, Black Angel, Zizzy, Sub Ohm, Chrono, Misfit, Damon, Mela, Nance, Load, Sloth, Civil, Jira, Kaku, PCAP, Interdome, Psymaster, Lit Up, Darn, Octopus, Estella, BB420, Deviants, Nevar, Scrim, Cosby X, Chex, Pokery, Echo Shun, Eraser, Monochrome, Juber, Meep Sheep, Smoke, Money Tree, Judge, Wheat, and Kid, Stratum, Angie, Peaches, DNSK, VXP, Carl, Demogorgo, Sif, Open Soul, Guess Right, Kakama, Chili Boss, Logic, Monk, and Too High 2. Thank you guys. Fucking amazing that the list is still so long. I guess you still like the show. Uh, and this is episode 149. Crazily enough, we'll have episode 150 coming up next week. I'm not sure the day yet. Maybe back on Thursday. I don't know why I'm getting all fucked up, man. But I just, I got so much content on this one. I wanted to make sure to record it because I didn't want to have like a 40 minute episode on Thursday. Anyway, talk to you guys later, man. It's Jason Ben, EFNet News. Peace. For more EFNet News, follow Vapor on Snapchat as Smiggy999 or on Twitter as PP4L. All around me are the world like roses. I see users, fucking pieces of trash. Dab guy. Dab.